गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द फर्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ क्लास सेवन साइंस दैट इज न्यूट्रिशन इन प्लांट्स सो एज वी नो दैट द लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स दे हैव टू कैरी आउट वेरियस लाइफ एक्टिविटीज दे हैव टू कैरी आउट वेरियस लाइफ प्रोसेसेज फॉर दिस वॉट डू दे रिक्वायर दे रिक्वायर एनर्जी एंड वेर डू दे गेट दिस एनर्जी दे गेट दिस एनर्जी फ्रॉम food so we can say that each living organism needs food whether it is a plant or it is an animal in class 6 we have studied that from the food we get various components or there are various components of food like carbohydrates proteins fats vitamins minerals and along with this the food also has certain dietary fibers and water now these components of food these are very essential for our body these are very necessary for our body so these components of food of the various components of food which are necessary for our body these are known as nutrients that means all these are known as the nutrients right now what does the food provides us when we are taking the food that means it will provide us energy so that we can carry out the life processes we can ca carry out various life activities it also helps in the growth the body's growth and reproduction process and any other life process third is that it also helps in repairing the damaged parts clear now let us understand what nutrition is okay now it is the mode of taking food by an organism and its utilization by the body that means the mode of taking food how the organism is taking the food and the utilization of that taken food that will be known as what nutrition okay because different animals they take different kinds of food like green plants they prepare their own food whereas the humans and animals they get their food from plants or from other animals okay so there are two different kinds of nutrition so there are two different modes of nutrition the first one is autotrophic nutrition and the second one is heterotrophic nutrition okay now what does this autotrophic and heterotrophic nutrition refers to now first autotrophic so if we divide this autotrophic word that means the autotrophic word is made from two words that is auto and trophos auto means self and trophos means nourishment okay that means here the organisms make food that means in autotrophic nutrition the organisms make food themselves from simple substances okay that means they are not dependent on other organisms they are making their food themselves now the simple substances may be carbon dioxide water okay and the organisms which show this autotrophic nutrition are known as autotrophs that means the organisms which make their food themselves from simple substances are known as autotrophs clear example of autotrophs autotrophs will be green plants why because green plants they prepare their own food so they will be considered as autotrophs and their mode of nutrition will be autotrophic nutrition now the second mode of nutrition that is heterotrophic nutrition again the word heteros means other and troph trophos means nourishment that means in this the organisms they cannot prepare their own food they are dependent on other organisms they are dependent on other plants or other animals okay so these organisms or the nutrition of these organisms will be known as heterotrophic nutrition why because they are not able to prepare their own food and they are dependent on other organisms clear now the organisms which show this type of nutrition that means which are showing heterotrophic nutrition will be known as heterotrophs clear or we can say that the organisms which cannot make their food and are dependent on other organisms they are known as heterotrophs 
fine now the examples of the organisms showing heterotrophic nutrition are animals and humans because we also cannot make our own food we cannot prepare our own food and we are dependent on the plants plant or the plant products or animal flesh or animal products clear now the food making process in plants we have studied that the green plants they are preparing their own food now this process this food making process in green plants is known as photosynthesis what it is known as photosynthesis okay now we can define photosynthesis as the process by which green plants make their food okay this process is known as photosynthesis now if we divide this word photosynthesis to so photo means light photo means light and synthesis means building up okay now since this food making process happens in the presence of light so this will be known as photosynthesis clear okay now now where is the food prepared where is the food made this food is prepared in the leaves so leaves are known as a food factories of plants clear that means here in the inside the leaves the leaves uh, the food is prepared okay now what are the essential raw materials for this uh, photosynthesis process the essential raw materials are carbon dioxide water okay these are the raw materials and the uh, plant will prepare the food in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll now i hope you have understood till here the remaining part of the photosynthesis will be carried on in the next video thank you